and we're checking out a new way to start saving money. It's an app with some big rewards. Well, tonight we're following a story that's been over 20 years in the making. A Bakersfield woman with a knack for sweets is returning to our set one last time in hopes that her well-known dessert finds a new home. The now Bakersfield Story Cooper is tracing the history of Barbara Kimber's pineapple cobbler and has more on what's next for the tasty selection. Tori? Barbara Kimber first stopped by our studio back in the 90s to share her dessert with 23 ABC News. And tonight she's back for one last time in hopes that a person looking for a concept for a small business is out there watching tonight and is hopefully touched by the taste of her story enough to keep her recipe alive for good. Check it out. 23 Business News at 6. Here's a potential small business success story. Four years ago, Barbara Kimber started making her pineapple cobbler. And today, Barbara Kimber is only making a few more batches of that same pineapple cobbler. I was never, ever ready to say goodbye to her, but I am now, so this is it. The small business entrepreneur had a dream of taking her cobbler national after her experience catering in Kern County. Once she proved to be a hit in Bakersfield, she received recommendations from the local Vons, Red Lion Hotel, Trader Joe's, and the Doubletree Hotel in Bakersfield for the mass production of her cobblers. But like any small business, Kimber ran into some hurdles when trying to land her cobbler on an assembly line for wide scale production with major retailers. You have to go out to corporate in order to get all. Of them. So I kept running into mergers and I just had to keep falling back. At the time when Kimber was well recognized by the larger organizations, she said she did not have the manpower to make it happen by herself either. I had more of a demand for the cobbler than what I could produce. Even though Kimber wouldn't share her secret ingredients with me, she agreed to let our newsroom put her cobblers to the test to see if the taste was still a hit. It's not overwhelming. And coupled with Kimber's cobbler song to go with her dessert, it didn't disappoint. I'm a fan of just like it's just different, you know, that, uh, that and to go with the, the little crust on top. And Kimber says former Bakersfield Mayor Harvey Hall also couldn't get enough of Kimber's cobblers. Actually, uh, Mayor Harvey Hall, he was um, Kathy Butler. Everyone knows Kathy from downtown. She helped me put together a taste test, and he came. And his very favorite was the pineapple boysenberry. So much so until he was eating so much, I said, I said uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, please don't eat too much because I didn't want him to get sick. Kimber took marketing classes through the marketing source in Bakersfield, along with the help of the Small Business Development Center in Kern County to learn more tricks of the trade of being a successful small business owner. And now she says she is ready to share her tips with the right entrepreneur. I will train and I will um, teach people how to do it for starters. And I know it will take time, but I'm willing to do that. Now, if you are an entrepreneur looking for a concept for a small business startup and would like more information on Kimber's Cobblers, head to our website, turn to 23.com, and you can also find it under the in-depth section on Roku. For the Now Bakersfield, I'm Tori Cooper, 23 ABC. Bakersfield police and a local restaurant teaming up and raising money for a special cause. Check this out. The Bakersfield police department.